Hey guys, I'm back here in the workshop, and I just got through <coughs> pulling the tremolo out, pulling the springs out, getting everything ready. I'm fixing to fix the holes. Hopefully you guys can see, now there's no hole, there was about a quarter inch hole there. Now there's a dowel rod in there, and slowly but surely it'll look better. Also, look at these little things I'm going to use for uh, strap buttons. I found those. They're brass, it can be polished. Okay guys, I guess I've decided to take the electronics out of this thing. If anyone knows how to get these off, these knobs, they have no set screw and they will not for anything pull off. Tell me how to get those LTD knobs off. I'm moving them things. I figured it out. These knobs, they do just pull off. It's just really hard to get them to come off. Put something down on the wood so you don't scratch the crap out of it. Looky there, guys. That's ex exactly how it's done. The whole motherfucker came out. That's exactly how it's done. See, just now, now it looks like a jack. I might just plug into that. Oh, hey, looky there, man. Go, go, gadget. Oh! You never know. I might be able to use these pickups. So I'll, I'll, I'll put them on a a gauge and see what they read. I don't know if you guys know this. But if you're putting a guitar together, you have to put them on a gauge. I don't know what the gauge is called right now. I just do work on them, you know, of my own. And uh, But point being is you don't want to, like some, some pickups read like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. You don't want to put one that's reading 6 with one that's reading 9 because then when you go to switch selects with your your your, your uh, pickups then it's going to be obviously quieter oh look at that they, see I told you they're not even wired in I had to have one of my telecaster pickups replaced and uh, when I would go to click up to the top, or if I would uh, turn on that pickup at all, the whole guitar got quiet. It's definitely not a good thing. So, if you're building a guitar, make sure all your pickups, I believe it's the ohms or something like that, you know. I, I, I could look it up and know all the terms, but I'm comfortable, you know. No one will figure it out. Look at there. Not even hooked up at all, but I mean, it's wired. It's not ripped out of the pickup. That pickup may work. Okay, there's that. <clears throat> this right here may seem a little riggish, but this is just the way it's done. Well, I have to go answer the phone. Hold on. You have to pardon me. I'm at work and uh, duty calls. Anyway, it's going to seem kind of riggish, but I've seen a lot of professionals do this. If you have a stripped wood of any kind, not just guitars, any kind that you need to screw something into, what you do is you're going to take, I don't have a hole that needs fixed right now, but I'm going to demonstrate. You take some good old Elmer's glue, carpenter's glue, good stuff, that's what you need to use. You're going to fill the hole, right? You're going to take some toothpicks, cover them with glue, stick them in whatever hole you need, however many you need. You're going to test and see how many you need first. 
Stick them in there till it's tight. Hold them together. Hammer them in there like so. You're going to break them off, hammer them in there a little bit more, then you're going to sand them down and, and it'll look good. If you have a bigger hole than that that needs filled, like I did here, you're going to have to pre-drill a, a, a hole in there just a, about the same size as the dowel, if just make it tight. Then you're going to cut off however much length of a dowel you need and you're going to hammer it in there. It's going to fill it full of glue, put glue all over this right here. You're going to hammer it in there, same thing. I've got a little wood filler in there, I mean, you know. And then that's it. And one more thing, guys. After you do this and you get it all finished and you're ready to put something back in it like a, a strap button or whatever you're doing, you're, you're going to want to pre-drill a very tiny hole, screw it in there, and just don't over-tighten it. And it it'll work like new, trust me. Look here, guys. I said I didn't have any holes to plug, but I'm sitting here talking about not wanting that knob to be there. And guess what? My dowel rod here fits in there very nice and snug, which means I can make me a plug. As you can see, I've been sanding, doing a little bit to the guitar and it no longer has a hole there it's very very smooth take a little bit of cleaning but I mean it's gone that hole's gone <sighs> no knob by the pickup now if I can put one you know maybe right there or maybe over here somewhere I'd rather have the knob even up here man like a Gretsch or over here like a Les Paul man what's, what's the deal Anyway, there's how you get rid of holes. Here's where I'm at with everything. The, the guitar now has absolutely nothing. No electronics. It's gutted. It has nothing left in it. So, I have a good slab of wood to make me a guitar out of now. All I have to do is figure out exactly what I want to do with it. I'm open for suggestions, so if anybody knows, 